Hello? Becky, am I actually on? You're actually on, Debbie. What's on your mind tonight? My boyfriend. How old are you, Debbie? I'm nearly 16, and I'm... Going to school? Yeah. And your boyfriend, what's he, a senior or something? No, he doesn't actually go to school. Doesn't go to school? Where's he work? Um, I don't really see him all the time, so I don't really know. You don't know where your boyfriend works? That's interesting. Well, the reason why I don't know is because he leaves town a lot, and he kind of lives in his pickup truck, but it's one of those cool ones that has loads of chrome all over it, and even has personalized plates that say stand free and everything on it. See, he tells me he loves me, and I love him too, Becky. Fifteen, huh? Love's a hard thing to define. Tell me something. Is he a nice guy? Yeah. Well, you're a lucky girl to have a nice guy in his pickup truck who's in love with you. So, what's the problem? Well, um... Debbie, hello, you still with us? Yeah. Debbie? I'm gonna have a baby, Becky. I know that Stan isn't around. I'm gonna have to tell my parents pretty soon. Look, Deb, nothing's that bad. You're pregnant. We used to call it being in trouble. It's bad, but it's not the worst thing that could happen. No, you don't understand. My parents are gonna kill me. Look at it this way. People have babies all the time. It's not the end of the world. It's the beginning. A little baby's coming. Things could be worse. Things could be a lot worse. You could be sick or dying. Stan could be driving his pickup truck, have a head-on collision, go through his windshield and die. <laughs> I want to die, Becky. No, you don't, young lady. Yes, yes, I do. No, you don't, young lady. Let's not start taking ourselves too seriously here. You got yourself in a little trouble. You let your animal passions get out of hand, and now the fiddler has to be paid, right? Um, yeah. Am I right or am I wrong? Sounds to me like you want to blame the world for what you did. Well, don't expect a shoulder to crown here, little girl. Because you didn't think of these things in the wet heat of passion. You like the feel of sex. You like the feel of being loved. Well, you better like the feel of being pregnant. <laughs> Crown isn't going to fix anything. You're just going to get the baby all upset. Now, Debbie, tell me, is the baby kicking? <laughs> no, I just found out. <laughs> well, gee, the way you're going on, you sound like you're in labor. Snap out of it, Debbie. Can I ask you a serious question? What? Do you understand what's happened? Yeah? Yes, but do you understand what you've done? What? Do you understand what you've done to Stan? Stan? But Stan did this to me! Debbie, you're not listening to me. Listen to me, Debbie. You seduce poor old Stan with your cute little 15-year-old body, and you just want everyone to feel sorry for you. You trap Stan into sticking around, right? What? You think that's what happened? Because I think that's what happened. I... I don't know. I... I guess so. And now the consequences have to be paid. Then what shall I do? Do you know where Stan is? No! I don't know where Stan is. Okay, Debbie. Here's what we're gonna do. Someone out there will know where Stan is. So you're gonna leave your number with us, and Stu will call you when we get something. And don't worry, we will. And it's someone who's listening out there who knows where Stan is, you know, the guy in his pickup truck with his vanity and chrome plates that say Stan Free, do not call the police. Call me here at 216-555-TALK. Because we got a little girl here who's looking for her daddy. Okay, Debbie? Yeah. And you're not going to do anything stupid? No. Good. A young lady with a problem, but here on Night Talk, every problem has a solution, and that's why we're here. We're going to break for commercial, and we'll be back with more Night Talk. Hey, Becky. That guy talking about the old days in Akron made me remember about that truck driver who got stuck in his bathtub. Oh, yeah. <laughs> guy must have weighed 450 pounds, stuck in the tub. And what did you do? Guy didn't want a rescue squad, so he called up the massage parlor. Has them send over three hookers and a locksmith. And while these three bimbos base this guy with joy gel, the locksmith's trying to pry this guy out with a crowbar. Great sound effects. The guy popped when he came out. Like a cork. <laughs> 400 pounds, no one weighs that much. This guy did. 10 seconds. That was an Akron? Spring 81. Akron's ancient history. This is Cleveland. You're on. And we're back. I'm Becky Champlain, and you're listening to Night Talk. Any statements you want to make, we're listening. And now a call we've all been waiting to hear from. Where are you calling from, sir? I'm calling from Fort Wayne. Been doing some driving in the pickup? Yeah, I guess you could say that. I just did. So, tell me something, Stan. What you gonna do about your girlfriend here in Cleveland? She tells us you're gonna be a daddy. Yeah, I just heard. I didn't know. How could I know? I just stopped here at Al's to get some gas and a couple beers, and a guy asked me if I had a girlfriend in Cleveland. Well, the question is, are you going to have a wife in Cleveland? Yeah, that's the question. Well, do you know what I think? What? I think you better get your ass up to Cleveland. 
Hey, I just did. I've been driving all night. You think you can get me to turn around? Yeah, I do. I have your make, your model, your tax. No, hey! Don't hey me, buddy. You know what you did. We're talking about a 15-year-old girl. I didn't know she was 15. Anyway, it's none of your damn business, bud. Well, that's a shame, isn't it, Stan? Because you know why? They won't let you keep your pickup truck when you go to prison. I hear they love rapists there. You better take along a large jar of Vaseline. Hey, I ain't going to no jail. That's crazy. Still, we still have the number for the Indiana State Troopers. No, hey, what the hell are you trying to do? This is what you're going to do, Stan. You're going to get in your truck, call Debbie, fill the tank, and start driving. I'll give you five hours. <laughs>